CDTV.net Dividend Report is brought to you in part by 1M3 Corporation, IT Solutions for Banking and Finance. Call them at 917-686-3485. That's 917-686-3485. I'm John Hanna, and here are the CDTV.net Dividend Report for Thursday, April 2, 2009. But first, here's today's CDTV.net Top Stories. The Commerce Department reported orders for manufactured goods gained 1.8% in February, reversing six straight monthly declines. The Labor Department said initial claims for unemployment insurance went up to an adjusted 669,000 from the previous week's revised figure of 657,000. The total was above analyst estimates and now the highest in more than 26 years. Keep in mind that the workforce has increased by about half since then. Monsanto earnings per share for the second quarter was $2.16 on an ongoing basis compared to $1.77 last year. Analyst averages were $2.07. Monsanto Chairman, President, and Chief Executive Officer Hugh Grant said, We preserve value across the portfolio, which has allowed us to lift gross profit by 25%, margins by 5%, and ongoing earnings by 41%. He continued that growth combined with spending and working capital discipline is keeping us on track for more than 20% growth in earnings for the full fiscal year and allowed us to maintain our $1.8 billion guidance for free cash generation. Monsanto Company is a leading global provider of technology-based solutions and agricultural products that improve farm productivity and Food quality. CarMax Incorporated reported net earnings of $37.5 million or 17 cents per share in fiscal 2009 compared with $21.8 million or 10 cents per share in fiscal 2008. Analysts on average were looking for 2 cents. In last year's fourth quarter, CarMax Auto Finance income was reduced by 9 cents per share for adjustments primarily related to loans originating in previous quarters. Total sales decreased 28% to $1.47 billion from $2 billion in the fourth quarter fiscal 2008. CarMax, a Fortune 500 company and one of Fortune 2009 100 best companies to work for, is the nation's largest retailer of used cars. MSC Industrial Direct Company Incorporated diluted earnings per share in the fiscal 2009 second quarter were $0.42 cents compared to $0.73 cents last year. Analyst average estimates were $0.40 cents per share. For the fiscal 2009 second quarter, the net sales were $351.9 million compared with $436.5 million in the second quarter fiscal 2008. MSC Industrial Direct Company Incorporated, together with its subsidiaries, markets various industrial products to various industrial customers. And now, the dividend report. Wasso Paper announced the suspension of cash dividends, which will result in savings of more than $16 million annually. Wasso Paper, with revenues of $1.2 billion in fiscal 2008, manufactures, converts, and sells paper and paper products in the United States and internationally. Raytheon Company's Board of Directors has voted to increase the company's annual dividend payout rate by 11% from $1.12 to $1.24 per share. The board also authorized payment of a quarterly cash dividend of $0.31 cents per outstanding share of common stock to be paid on May 1st to shareholders of record as of the close of business on April 7, 2009. Raytheon Company, with 2008 sales of $23.2 billion, designs, develops, manufactures, integrates, and supports technological products, services, and solutions for governmental and commercial customers in the United States and internationally. Directors of Lawson Products Incorporated announced a dividend of three cents per share on common shares. The dividend is payable April 21st to stockholders of record on April 7, 2009. Lawson Products Incorporated distributes and markets systems, services, and products to the industrial, commercial, institutional, and governmental maintenance, repair, and operations marketplace in the United States and Canada. The Clarkor Incorporated Board of Directors declared a regular quarterly dividend of nine cents per share. The dividend is payable April twenty fourth to shareholders of record on April tenth, two thousand nine. Clarkor provides filtration products and services to customers worldwide. 
Yum Brands Incorporated announced that its board of directors approved a dividend of 19 cents per share of common stock, which will be distributed May 1st to shareholders of record at the close of business on April 10, 2009. Yum has nearly quadrupled its quarterly dividend since the initiation of dividends in May 2004. Yum Brands Incorporated is the world's largest restaurant company in terms of system restaurants with more than 36,000 restaurants in more than 110 countries and territories. For more information about these dividends and other announcements, go to cdtv.net.